Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate flying arrow in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how the layers are separated in Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. I have also provided the illustration file. You can collect it from link in the description. Ok, so let's jump into After Effects. So let's create a new composition. Let's import the illustration file. Let's drag it on the timeline and let's open the composition window. So these are the layer separations over here. Let's select the target side. Convert this layer into a shape layer. Go to create. Create shape from vector layer. Delete the illustration layer and then rename this layer. Let's move the anchor point of this layer with the help of this pen behind tool and move it somewhere around here. We are going to select this target face, parent it with target side, select the arrow and also I would like to change the position of the anchor point and put it somewhere around here at the tip of the arrow. Alright, so it's completely ready for animation. So let's start with the arrow animation. For that, let's jump on to next one second. Currently, we are in 30 FPS. So enter plus 30 here to jump on to next one second. Bring the work area start at this point. For that, press B in the keyboard. Then, we are going to put a keyframe on position of the arrow. Put a keyframe on rotation as well. Then jump on to around next. 9 frames and we are going to just move the arrow outside the screen. Then fix the motion path a bit, make it a bit curved, something like this. You can bring this Bezier handle with the help of this Convert Vertex tool. Like this, select and drag. And after that, we are going to Reverse the keyframe order. Select the keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes, click on it. Alright, after that, I would like to change the rotation of this arrow and align it with the path. Now, we are going to select this layer, right click on it, go to transform, go to auto orient, and we are going to click on this auto orient along path, click OK. After that, if you check, it is going to orient along the path. Alright, now we are going to change the motion graph editor a bit. So click on or select this keyframe at the last keyframe of position. Go to motion graph. Press F9 to convert it into easy keyframe. And we are going to decrease the ease a lot so that it's a huge impact over here. Something like this. Or even we can add some ease at this point. For that, we can convert this keyframe into easy as well. A very little is over here and a huge impact at this point. Let's check out. Alright, so that is how we want it. After that, we can add some overshoot over here. After the impact, this arrow is going to slightly rotate and do some more secondary animations. For that, we can add a rotation over here. After the impact, it is going to rotate even further at this direction. Let's jump on to next 4 frame. Slightly rotate in this direction a bit. Then again jump on to next 6 frames. Let's rotate it in this direction. 
then we are going to jump on to around next five frames and we are going to slide to repeat the process a very little and we are going to go to the relaxed state all right let's select the keyframes is easy it by pressing f9 in the keyboard let's check out now i think we can speed up this part even more yeah this one is looking better so now we can add some squash and stretch on the arrow Press S in the keyboard to open the scale property. Put a keyframe over here. Again, at the point of impact, we are going to put a keyframe over here and jump onto one frame earlier. Put a keyframe over here as well. At this point, it is going to squash a bit. So we are going to squash it not this much. Let's give it 95 and this one as 105 so we are squashing off around 5% then we can slightly stretch it maybe around here then again add some overshoot to the squash and stretch as well And here we can add the initial keyframe and paste it over here. Let's select the keyframes and let's select the scale keyframes and is is it. Let's check it now. Let's offset it a bit. Or rather let's move it over here and let's check. Yeah, this one is looking even better. The impacts are more impactful over here. So now we are going to add some secondary motion on this target portion. But before that, I would like to hide the tip of this arrow after it strikes. So for that, let's add a shape with the help of pen tool. Something like this. And we are going to rename this layer as mat and use it as an alpha inverted mat. Let's check it now. Yeah, this one is looking better. So we can parent this mat with the target face. And after that, we can add some secondary animation on the target after the impact. So Open the rotation property of the target side. Put a keyframe over here. Jump on to one frame earlier. Put a keyframe over here. At this point, it's the impact. So it is going to rotate. Okay, so let's animate or let's parent arrow with the target face as well. And let's rotate it even more. And then there would be some overshoot, very little overshoot. Let's jump on to next five frames. And let's give minus two or minus 1.5. And around here, let's give around 0 0.5. And here we can copy and paste the initial keyframe. Let's easy is the keyframes. Let's check out our animation. Alright, so like this, you can animate flying arrow in After Effects.
I have also provided the illustration file. You can collect it from link in the description and go collect it and try it on your own. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.